This time of year, we talk a lot about summer food favorites, everything from cookouts to lobster rolls to fresh produce from the garden. Main favorite any time of year is a whoopie pie. Viewer Patty Genest shares how she makes her own version. The first thing I do is start with my filling. I always pre-measure everything. And so in here, I have a cup of milk and I'm going to add um, two and a half tablespoons of flour. Uh, giving me the recipe as it is, I usually double the filling recipe. And I, I stir it up with a whisk and cook it over a uh, low heat so that it gets to the consistency of a thick pudding. And when you're done, it's going to end up like this. Um, and you're going to put that in the fridge to cool. And um, let me see if I can use this to show you how thick it is. So it's like consistency of thick pudding. So you'll put that in the fridge when that's done. And then you're going to take um, a half a cup of shortening and three quarter cups of confectioner's sugar and some vanilla. And you're going to beat that up. And you're going to end up with filling that looks like this, which we're going to use in a moment. Um, meanwhile, again, in here, I have all my wet ingredients. Um, I always break the eggs in a separate bowl just to make sure there's no shells. I add it. I beat that up um, with the shortening and the vanilla sour cream. And then I add my dry ingredients and I have those pre-mixed as well. So those are all ready to add into my wet mixture when I'm ready. When we're done, we end up with batter. That's the consistency of this, very thick. And we put it on the baking sheet and we'll put that in the oven for 10 minutes. You can see I already did this beforehand. So we'll put that in the oven for 10 minutes, 10 to 12. Um, but to, for the sake of time, I will show you that I already have some cakes made, whoopie pie cakes, and we'll fill those. And I forgot to get a spoon. So we will fill those like so. Some people use an ice cream scoop. I just use a spoon and I like them fairly thick. So when you're done, it's going to look like this. And we'll eat one in a minute. But I want to show you that they freeze very well. And I have some in a cookie jar in the freezer. They're a nice cool treat on a hot day. That was so great. Thank you, Patty, for putting that segment together. Love the kitchen. We're going to share her recipe in the 207 section of our website and our mobile app.